Hey everybody, Coin Killer Lou back again after another great weekend of metal detecting. Only went out today for about uh, just a little over three hours. Had to get out of the sun here in Florida. It was at least 90 plus humidity, 85, 90 plus. So uh, bring water if you're in the southern states. Uh, it's just crazy here right now, super hot. But had a great day. Um, where do we start? Well, let's start with the, the pile. I threw away all the garbage already. All the pull tabs, all of that stuff. And uh, still got a pile of sand there. And uh, was wondering uh, why, why was I hitting on this with my pinpointer and not my detector? It was because it's a, it's a magnet. And I didn't know it because it was stuck to my digger, I'm like, where the fuck did it go? <laughs> Pardon my language. Uh, this fuse kind of rang up as a double-ended signal. It was hitting on both ends. So you can see the kind of fine stuff that I'm picking up, which just gets even better. Uh, the, the coins, all clad. Everything was clad today. Uh, Ten quarters, 17 dimes, eight nickels, uh, 20 Lincolns, uh, one was one of the flattened kind right there. Uh, one of them is just encrusted so bad it probably won't come out in the tumbler. The rest, all that will come back out in the tumbler. That's like 480 and change, so yay. Uh, the fake jewelry, a uh, little buckle, a little brass buckle, and a bunch of buttons. Fake jewelry, fake jewelry, that one's a button. This is the very first thing that I found. Very first thing when I walked up. So I'm like, hey, today's going to be a good day. Of course, this crappy bracelet, that's going in the garbage right now. There we go. Uh, and then one of my first finds was this uh, gold ring. Gold colored ring. <laughs> of course, it's just a toy Cracker Jack ring. And this looked really nice coming out of the ground also. Just, uh, it's gold plated. What do you know? Uh, probably eight, I think it's eight karat gold when I tested it, so it's pretty low quality. Uh, probably uh, the best stuff of the day, of course. I found this ring last week. Uh, and of course, hey, uh, I carry around a little medicine bottle, you know, taped it off, whatever. Put your finds in there. But the first find, I didn't have this on video, uh, but this was really neat. This rang up really, really low, and I thought I was a piece of foil because everything that in that number range on the Fisher F75. I pulled it out of the ground and I'm like, okay, gold foil. Started cleaning it off some more and a little bit of research. Uh, it's a turquoise shell ladies' earring. Too light to be a charm. It's very light. But there is a signature on it, S925, which means that it is made, uh, it's a Chinese silver. And that's why it has that gold tint to it, because they add a little bit more copper. And that's why you see that. But that was really neat. I thought it was a piece of garbage. Look how small that is. And the, uh, using the standard coil on the F75, picked this up at 7 inches down, which is really sensitive. I had the settings on the detector, the same as they have always been. Uh, tones at uh, 3H, sensitivity like around 40, between 40 and 50. But uh, it looks like gold, but apparently it's Chinese silver. Interesting. So I found something else out new today. Uh, the peace symbol, uh, the best piece today, it cleaned up, didn't take much cleaning because this is uh, 999 silver. It weighs about as much as two quarters. It, it's got some mega weight going on here. Uh, and the way I determined what all my jewelry is, including this one, I just need to get it on the mandrel, round it out, and my girlfriend will love to wear that one, uh, is I have the gold and silver test kit. Uh, I purchased that from Kelly Co. a couple of years ago. Still functions. You got to just got to watch the uh, expiration dates on some of these guys. They do expire, actually. And I use that on all my jewelry. I also have a diamond tester that just came in the other day. 
uh, and I rechecked all my jewelry, even though I know it was diamonds or not, because I brought them to a jeweler, my, my buddy, and he said, dude, you got some real stuff here. Of course, he always wants to buy it, and I'm like, nah, that's all right. And then, of course, a scale, and I got that at, uh, at uh, Kelly Co. Metal Detectors also. And I also recently purchased this little 60X lighted scope, uh, adjustable, so it has its, uh, you could manually focus it. Uh, and that's just kind of the stuff that I've been using to test everything. And of course, uh, then all of the digging tools, I kind of redid my digging tool apparatus. Now I carry, uh, of course, the Lesh Digger. Been using that for uh, several months. Got the White's TRX Pinpointer, love that thing to death. I carry a scope out in the field along with a magnet so I could look at jewelry up close and make sure and find out really quick that it's uh, that it's re if it's real or not. Uh, this is actually my finds pouch. I've actually found this metal detecting and I'm like, uh, hey, I'm going to use that for my finds pouch now. And if you're thinking, where do I put all my garbage? Well, I just carry a couple of uh, plastic bags from the grocery store put my garbage in there and throw it out on the way out, which is what I did today. That's why you don't see as much garbage today. But uh, a really good day. I had a really good weekend. Uh, thought I found gold and silver, but two pieces of silver, and I found out a little bit about uh, Chinese silver history. Oh, by the way, if it says S925, it's from China. If it says 925S, it's from Scandinavia. Uh, just another tip, and we'll see on the next dig. This is Coin Killer Lou saying, Peace.